Hey my curlies, I'm back with a updated version of my frozen henna bars and there are some old and new ingredients. I start off with my liquid of choice which is rose water. This is pure rose water. Now you can use a mixture of water along with rose water or just plain water but I use one and a quarter cups of rose water which is 10 ounces and because I'm extra I like to use dried rose buds or petals. This is optional and I use no more than two ounces. This is just for the added rose nourishment for the hair and you do have to have something that is acidic to get dye release from henna and I've been using hibiscus petals as my acidic choice for years I continue to do so I use two ounces which is a quarter of a cup of the hibiscus petals and aside from the fact that it's an acidic um, option it also gives extra nourishment and extra dye so I get a little extra red tint so I add this to the water which will be boiled and as you can see there's already that sort of little bit of red tint to the water before it's even boiled. A new addition is two ounces or a quarter of a cup of gasol or rasol clay and I have raved about how fantastic this clay is for the hair in terms of conditioning, strengthening, nourishing and you will find a link to that up on top of this video. So this is a new addition to the recipe and as always I have been using amla. I use again two ounces which is a quarter of a cup of amla powder and then I do add another quarter of a cup, two ounces of fresh aloe vera juice and I make my own aloe vera juice from the leaves in my garden. I have a video of that as well on my channel which will be linked but you can of course buy store bought in case you can't get the leaves. Now the real star of the show of course is the henna powder. I love this stuff. It is, if you have not used henna you are missing out in terms of nourishment, strength and all that goodness. And I use a cup and a half which is 12 ounces of henna powder which is a lot but you'll see why. So I first add the powders together so I just put in really carefully because the powders fly around. Um, I add in the amla and then the uh, gasol clay as well. I then use a spatula to sort of combine them so that everything is well stirred before I go in with the liquids that I'll be using and if this is the first time that you're making this I really do highly recommend that you add your liquids in step by step instead of pouring everything at once and then finding out you have too much of your um, liquid, the tea or your aloe vera juice or anything else that you're adding because then you just have to go back and add more of the henna or more of the amla and so on. So you're going to end up wasting stuff. Once that is added, I then add my heated up rose water, which I sieve. So I get the petals out of the way and then I just add in the warmed up liquid to the henna powder. And as you see, I'm doing it step by step to show you since I have been doing this so often, I know exactly how much of each um, ingredient I need. So I don't necessarily have to do this in step by step process, but it is the best way, especially when you're starting out. Again, I just slowly start to mix everything together to make sure that everything is well combined. I like my henna bar recipe or the mixture to be really really thick. You might want it to be a little more runny than I do but that is because I do melt down the henna bars after they have frozen and so I prefer when I'm melting it down that I use a little more warmed up liquid to it therefore it isn't too runny. So this is the consistency that I like working with. You can go with a slightly more runnier mix if you'd like. The important part now is to cover it up with killing film and to wait for dye release. Everyone's henna sort of releases dye at different times so you have to make sure that you know when your henna will be most optimum for dye release. And once you get to that stage, just before it hits that peak dye release, you want to put it into either something like this, these silicone molds or anything that you want to sort of contain it in before you put it in the freezer. So once they have frozen, this is what the bars look like. And I just pop them out of the mold. Really simple. And then I'm going to individually wrap each of these molds or each of these henna bars, sorry, and then put them in an airtight container. It gives me five of these bars and each of them are 100 grams or 3.5 ounces each. And I generally use about two to three whenever I want to use them. 
Alright my curlies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!